it seems to me that with these things, I mean, what they're doing, number one, is, is once you get this, you do wait upon God and you make it a matter of prayer. Yeah. Second, you, you, you then do look for those doors and, and, and you actually look for groups, again, coming back to what we said, so you just don't go in and, you know, and, and do everything by yourself without any relationship. Mm. You look for groups that are already working mm. in the place where, where you feel good and, and see if God would lead you uh, through 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 those and through that people to, to 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 get involved as well, wouldn't you? Yes, a core a core must be tested because you can. We do hear the voice of God. Yes. At the same time, we have to recognise that sometimes we get it wrong. We get it wrong. Yes. And we we uh, ha get ideas. Sometimes ideas which are rather nice ideas, which we <laughs> really rather like to pursue, yes. which may not be the call of God at all. That's right. So we have to be careful, but if they're tested, and if they survive, and th that test, yes. God will bring us through. And if God, I mean, as he said, uh, as Len Mole said to you, God knows where you, you live. Are. That's right. He'll call you. Yeah. He'll get you there. Yeah. And uh, we'll overcome obstacles. Yeah. Um, it's a remarkable and a wonderful yeah. experience. Yeah. So Bernadette, I, I, I think um, if, if you have further problems, um, do email again, um, or I'll make contact with you anyway um, after today. Um, continue to hold it before the Lord. Continue to register before the Lord. Lord, we are hearing you. Uh, well, at least we think it's you. And as Andrew says, let it be uh, tested out as far as, uh, as, as that is concerned. And then um, uh, have a look to see if there are groups that are working in Nazareth. Make contact with them. Share your heart so you can pray together. Mm -hmm. And it can be tested out with other people. Tested out with the, the eldership in your local church. Uh, whatever. Uh, I think that that would be uh, be great. But That'd if you good. need more help on that, come back to us. Yeah. Um, Andrew, uh, I, I've got 70 questions here, not quite, but uh, none of which I've asked. We've, we've gone on all sorts of areas, but I think it's we really have. been worthwhile today. Um, but you are very much involved in literature work. I mean, yes. much of what you do, I think you're a trustee with CLC, you, yeah. you, you mentioned that. Can you share a little bit about the, liter the literacy side of, of missionary work and, and really what you are doing these days and how you see, we, we did start Matthew, but <laughs> we got to the fact where they were uh, doubtful. Uh, but how did they fulfill the commission? Because it goes on to say, doesn't it, um, all authority is given unto me in heaven and earth. Go therefore and make disciples yes. of all nations. How do you see what you are doing today and maybe what you feel you want to do in the future is fulfilling part, just a small part of that? Mm. The work that I'm doing with WEC publications, some of which I've waved at you um, <laughs> already today, uh, is really to raise awareness of what's going on around the world and the, the needs of the world, as well as I hope being um, a resource to people. One, I'll, this is Bringing the World to Your Church, which was um, written by a lady not all that far from here uh, called Joy Piper. It's really a help for people who want to raise the, the, the profile of mission um, in our churches. And uh, so it's called, uh, the, well, it's on one side called the Mission Promoter's How-To Guide, <laughs> On the other side, a rescue pack <laughs> of ideas and information for mission mobilizers. And so there are things that we can do as WEC, I hope, that we can provide resource and help people to understand what mission is about. Because for a lot of people, when you talk about the needs of the world and sending out missionaries, initially, it's a foreign language. That's right, you know, yeah. it's, and they think, well, why? And uh, just to get people to understand that God's heart is for the whole world. Why should God love the English more than the Iranians <laughs> or some tribe in the Amazon jungle? Yes. Well, he doesn't. Uh, I'm glad but, you said that, Andrew. <laughs> but we're far better resourced. Yes. We've got the Bible in our own language. In yes. fact, you've probably got one version, I've got another version, <laughs> I've got a whole lot more at home. Yeah. Uh, so we are, we are rich 
and we need to part of what we're doing with WEC publications is to uh, show the church and help the church to understand what's going on inspire them to pray and get them involved in uh, God's will another one we do is um, real guidance for people who are wondering whether God is guiding them into right. yeah. uh, mission work um, and th these public again if you go onto the WEC um, website are, are some of these mentioned they there? are it's yes. not terribly good at the moment we've got a PDF um, right uh, document of of our publications yeah. but we hope to uh, shortly improve that right but um, there is literature around which much more directly helps people to understand what the gospel is and um, WEC is involved in a wide variety of ways really in doing that uh, one that you'll be aware of Doug is soon which yes. is a, a basically an A4 sheet of testimonies which has been mailed out for many years direct to people all over the world uh, and it, it, it's, a, it's an evangelistic sheet onto which they cram about as much as it is possible to cram <laughs> print onto a sheet yeah. people can then respond with a coupon that they send back to soon they can then embark on a Bible correspondence course um, it's also a great marriage guidance. I mean, <laughs> I, I found my wife <laughs> through soon <laughs> because we used to send it out in this, because yeah. it's in simple English, but we used to send it out to Greece and Eastern Europe. Yeah. Uh, and of course, with that connection with Eastern Europe, eventually with Prague and with the church where, uh, where Noemi uh, came from and some folks visited and Noemi came over and, and the rest, as they say, is history. You You've know? got a lot to be thankful I, for to work. <laughs> <laughs> My wife says as well. <laughs> she wonders sometimes, but anyway, yeah. It's, it's, uh, yeah. So Don't there's that. We uh, do run Bible correspondence courses in, in other places. Um, it's not a WEC one, but in Turkey there's a Bible correspondence course um, that we know about. Uh, and, and so that sort of thing goes on in other parts of the world as well. There have been a number of people, in fact there's a colleague of mine up in Rossendale, who's translating the Bible. Uh, he's doing it into Chad Arabic. Mm. Um, but there are other people who have been involved in Bible translation projects around the world as well. Um, but CLC exists to... Uh, That's Christian Literature Crusade. Christian Literature yeah. Crusade, although interestingly they're also dropping the word the crusade, crusade right. at this, just at this juncture. Yeah. Uh, but they have bookshops around the UK and around the world to make literature available to people so that they can come to a knowledge of Jesus and grow in, in the knowledge of Jesus. Well, one of the things that we certainly found with literature um, recently is people aren't reading books like the, in this country like they used to. Now I don't know if that's true. Uh, I, uh, Maybe because they don't have so many other means of communication. Maybe in, in, in other countries, books are still, you know, valued. Um, but are, are you seeking to find other ways of communicating the gospel? Of course, we've got the internet and, and yeah. we've got CDs and, yeah. you know, and, 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 and iPods and, you know, and all the rest of it. Are you looking to use those other means these days also along with the literature but maybe answer the first part first of all is there a problem with with books being sold as they were you know in these days I'm not convinced that there is um, I think if you go to any motorway service station you'll see a WX Smiths with you know three for two offers yes uh, there. I mean, people are, st are still buying books. But I books. always wonder because the offers were there because people aren't buying books. <laughs> <laughs> There's still new novels. I mean, there, 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 is, yeah. a, um, there is still a healthy right. book publishing industry in this country. Right. Um, but it doesn't touch everybody. There are lots of people who don't read. And can't read in some There are lots of people who have well. difficulties with reading. Yes. 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 Uh, and in fact, soon has been used... Um, a little bit, very, very rarely actually in this country, but for people who do have difficulty mm -hmm. reading.